What's up? It's me, Lena, and I'm back with another review slash recap of Casey Undercover Into Deep Part 1. Y'all know I like my parters, my two parters, my three parters. If it was a four parter, I would love it even more. But we back with this one. Oh my god, guys, this was so weird. I didn't know how it was gonna go with this whole activist group. I didn't know like what they was gonna shed light on, but they were shedding light on healthy food and getting healthy food and like fruits and vegetables with no pesticides in it. They were speaking some truth here. And it seemed like Casey is Casey in too deep or is she just getting to the surface here? That's what I'm gonna ask y'all. So this is how it started off. It started real crazy. No, it, they was at the Earth Cafe Fantastic, a vegetarian restaurant. Casey was like, I love it. I love it so much. For the first time, I don't feel bad about eating, being a vegetarian. But she was like, I do feel bad for not bringing my wallet. So Marissa, can you pay? So Marissa's like, I'm not going to enjoy this. And I got to pay. This is just like my last day. So she was like, you can smell the farm. And she was like, oh, wait, no, nope, that's just the bathroom. Let's just ignore that. So she was like, come on, Marissa, eat your cup. Her, her cup was made out of freaking seaweed. And I was like, okay. So she was like, the, he was like, the waiter came. He was like, this is the double one world burger. So she was like, shouldn't it be called the two world burger? And he was like, ha ha ha, laughing. And he went and told his other waiter friend. I can't think, they didn't even say his name. I guess he didn't have a name. He was just the waiter guy. But yeah. So the Marissa didn't like the food. She thought it was disgusting. And then Casey's like, come on, the food is great. They're giving great jobs to teenagers. But she's like, where's Danielle? So then he, the guy was like, oh, me and Danielle, we are not in communication with her anymore. And she left. And I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. So, she was like, but she locked up, she locked up the place and drove me home. And he's like, look, she's gone. <laughs> and, she, and Casey's like, okay, whatever. So then he was like, don't make the world a better place. Then Russell's like, okay, that's a lot of pressure, dude. Calm down. So, Casey was like, Danielle couldn't even make change for five. It's five ones, Danielle's really. She was telling Agent Johnson all about this. And she was like, I know it's a vegetarian place, but it kind of smells a little fishy. So he was like, yeah, they are strange. He was like, but they got something called the Valentines. And then Casey was like, that's not like a terrible boy band name. He's like, yeah, I know. What's a Backstreet Boy? Anyway, so the Valentines, the leader is 20-year-old Jane Keller. She owns all 60 of the freaking cafes across the world. Across, yeah, across the country. So then Casey's like, yeah, the only thing I own 60 of is a, I don't own that 60. She's like, well, no, that's a lie. I own 60 flannels. And I was like, it's always good to have a good flannel, you know? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have one plaid shirt. One flannel shirt. I wish I had more, though. I did. I really did. So, you know, Jane's in a day, day she doing her stuff. And like, oh, my God, okay, so she got these kids all hypnotized, whatever. So they're going to go on the cover, her and Ernie, and they about to see what's popping off. Meanwhile, Kira's hair looked really nice. Judy's like, truffles, you bought some stinky mushrooms, but we can't run the air after 6 o'clock. What's wrong with you? He was like, look, I'm making a meal from the ambassador of of some of the country that he worked for. He's like keeping him protected. He's like, we both foodies, we got some a whole bunch of stuff in common. So then Kira was like, you don't do none of that stuff with me on our anniversary. All you got is tacos. So then Judy's like, if you want to sleep on the couch, he'll probably have that in common with you if you keep talking. Cause you know, he's making Kira mad. So Casey was pretending to be Stella. She was like, my parents think I'm a brat and she stole a credit card and then got a cab here and then she's like, I'm gonna work all day and then Make them wait before I give it to him back. She was in disguise. And Ernie, all he had was new glasses that he could not see. She was like, put your prescription back on. So he was like, no, I'm going to break my cover. And I'm like, Ernie, you cannot see. You run into this stuff. You put it back on. So he was like, okay. The man, the, the happy waiter guy came in. And he was like, look, you know, let's do this and that and this and that. So she was like, well, I hate my parents and everything. Even though they give me everything I ever wanted, I still am dissatisfied with everything. Like, she had, like, her braces in, so it was making a funny voice. But, yeah. So, Ernie still couldn't see. He fell over something. She was like, look, Bugs Bunny's cover is better when he's Mrs. the Lady Bunny, and you're not doing pretty good. So, yeah. They went to go to the Valentines, being that they was invited to by that strange guy, but... Oh, wait, they spies. I almost, almost forgot that they was... I thought they was, like, two kids getting invited by another guy to go somewhere to some meeting. But they had a spy, so they go. But, yeah, so they went there. Jane was talking. She was like, the dreams that I never had, you know, hunger, no hunger, no polluted oceans, clean air. She was like, I want to turn this stuff into dreams. I want to make my dream world. So then the guy was like, Jane is that leader. And he was like, oh, I mean, Jane is our friend. Ha, ha, ha. Then Stella was like, that's pretty profound. 
So, um, she's like, I'm gonna go try to talk to Jane. Then Jane's like, I'm tired of Jane, but she's gonna make a world with blue oceans, clean air, this and that, all the good stuff that we need for this earth. And then she went to go talk to her. So she's like, we are strong together. So they started, like, chanting and stuff. So then Stella started talking to her. She's like, I hate everyone, but, like, you're okay. So she, I thought she was like Taylor Swift. I thought Stella looked just like Taylor Swift. I did. I was like, she looked just like Taylor Swift. Like, what the heck? But, yeah. So... Jane was like, I'm happy you're here, Stella. Oh, should I say Casey? And she was like, oh, I think you're going to be missing somebody. She was like, oh, you mean Casey Cooper, Kieran Craig Cooper, your family, your spies, this and that. And I was like, she was like, oh, never mind then. Meanwhile, Craig spent two days making the food for the ambassador guy. And the ambassador that guy didn't even want to eat the food because he said it was killing him. And it was making him too fat. And now he loved exercising. And they going to try to bond over that, which is never going to work. But, yeah, it's not going to work with that one. But, yeah. So, Jane was just staring at Casey. So, Casey like, yeah, are you going to eliminate me or you just keep staring at me because I don't like it? So, she's like, I don't eliminate nobody. So, then she's like, well, what about Danielle? So, she's like, look, Danielle visited her sick grandma. So, then she was like, oh, sorry, Danielle. Because then she brought it up with Danielle. And Danielle was like, thanks for bringing it up. So, she was like, well, I don't eliminate. I recycle. So, she was like, okay, whatever. She's like, you can just leave. You can leave. And they'll just send in another recruiter. Five months, three months from now, she's like, because it's fine. She noticed the agency is investigating her. She's like, they just missed in another one person and another person and another person in. So she's like, okay, or you can stay and you can help protect the planet. So she's like, stick around. She's like, hmm, should I stick around for healthy, clean food and clean ocean? She's like, hmm, that's a pretty radical thing. Let me think about that. That's how it be sometimes. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to help the world, but you, you, really, you, you sound really bad though. Like, <laughs> anyway, so Danielle put something in the embassy's gym where Craig and the guy was. I'm like, Craig's about to die. She put a bomb in there. So Craig wanted to leave. He was like, oh, I want to go get an egg white omelet wrapped in a regular omelet with wrapped in bacon and sausage. But the guy was like, no, get on my favorite cardio machine. So he left to go get them something to drink. No, some, something for their face. So Kieran and Craig, Judy ran and said, it's a bomb in the machine. Don't go lower than five miles in that cardio machine because you will die. And then she was like, and if you are going to get off, let us know so we can be out of splatter range because I just got my puff done. I'm like, Judy, you need to calm down. Anyway, so they were still chanting. Ernie's like, everybody's in a chance. He's like, of course she seemed to be on the up and up because all the bad guys got to pretend to be like they're on the up and up so they can seem like they're on the up and up. So then Casey's like, I don't know. She's kind of cool and all this and that and all that. So he was like, look, I can really go for some real food, like chicken nugget shit, like a dinosaur food. Anyway, they, Ernie was like, I would kill for anything junk food right now. Casey, Jane told Casey to come up there. So she was like, your opinion, your opinion is valued. I'm like, at school. I don't know. Anyway, so then she was like, fresh fruits and vegetables are pricey. And gas stations are around every corner. And all the fruits are laced with chemicals that, that can survive an apocalypse. And that can survive a zombie apocalypse. Well, that's, that's, that's probably true. The fruit was, the fruit was dry still. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, then they laced out. They are laced with pesticides and herbicides. But the food, the fruit here be going bad real quick. Like in the store, the fruit be bad. The lettuce be bad. The grapes and strawberries be molded. It's, it's be disgusting. It's be disgusting. So yeah, so she was like, we can survive. We can do this. Volunteers around the country, they're gonna stop the trucks that have all the chemicals in it from this company. They're gonna stop it. Help, not wealth. They need to get their hands dirty to do this. So Ernie was like. What is going on? It was like real serious. Like he didn't say it in like a silly way. He was actually like, what is going on? Like he really wanted to know. Because Casey was up there chatting with her. So, no more Franken food. The news was there. The news station was there. The truck was coming. It was about to stop. Ernie was like, no, I don't even like vegetables. And I'm not about to be one just for one. So, they jumped on the freaking truck. They was ripping it apart. Casey was like, this just got real. And Ernie was like, yeah, we need to leave. So she was like, uh-uh, I'm not going to let them push us around. I'm not living in the upside-down world. I don't want to live like this no more. we got to make a change. And I was like, yes, Casey, you have to make a change. But, um, yeah, Ernie was like, that's just Keller talking. And she's like, no, it's me talking. Then the jumper ended up jumping out. The driver ended up jumping out of the truck and leaving. And it was like, success. So then Ernie's like, something's off about her. So then Casey's like, look, you go do what I, you do, and I do what I do. So Ernie left, and Casey stayed. And I'm like... I don't know. I don't know. Meanwhile, Judy, she can dismantle, she can dismantle the bomb because her bomb skills off the bomb. So he was like, look, I've been working out for two hours. Let's do this. So Kira was like, I found some soup for you to eat. 
that was freaking crazy. That was like, I bet that was probably improv. It seemed like improv because like she was like, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm, I'm full, I'm full, I'm full. Because she just got the soup all over his face. So he started losing speed. He was like, it's okay, that's cute, baby, but let me switch places with you. So they was both on the machine together. So then Judy freaking flipped Craig off because he would not get off. And then he was like, oh my God, what's going to happen? So she was like, oh, I defused the bomb 10 minutes ago. I just want to see how panicky y'all got. She's like, it was funny. I would have. I would have whipped Judy's robot, but with some cords or something, because that's 10 minutes ago, she had them worried sick. He could have a heart attack. He could have a heart attack. He could have. He could have. He could have had a heart attack. So, Ernie was eating whipped cream and junk food, so Craig was like, I can't understand what he's saying, but that's normally good, but right now this sounds serious. So, he told him, and Kira was like, first of all, you eat flaming hot Cheeto dust. What are you talking about? So, they was like, well, no, Casey, Casey just do that all the time. Casey follow her so she can get more intel, and he's like, no. I'm trying to tell you that she fell for it. And I was like, yeah, he's trying to tell you. Y'all just like doubting him. Like, Anyway, so at the end, it was like a real seance thing. James like, Casey, step forward. And she's like, I pledge my allegiance to a lifetime contract of creating change. And I was like, it's a good cause here. It's a good cause. Well, I don't know, because James is evil because she tried to set a bomb to kill people. She, uh, her first idea was cool. Her first idea, you know, stopping the trucks, yeah. It wasn't, you know, she did wasn't. They didn't hit the guy, but you know, this, like, okay, okay. So she's like, they planned something big, so they need somebody that's gonna count on them. So it was like to be continued. Next week, Casey's gonna have to beat up her dad and the guy because they're gonna freaking steal the embassy guy that Chris was be protecting. And James betting on something. She's like, I got five million dollars. She's like, it's so good being rich. You just forget about all the other poor people. Bam. Jane is evil this whole time. She was never a good person. Money corrupt everybody, guys. It could get everybody. This whole thing had me shook at the end. That whole part. And I can't wait for next week, guys. It's about to be lit. Lit. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to check out other videos. And don't forget to check out my Bizarre Rock video. It's going to be up too soon. Bye. <laughs>